welcome back to our uh, sessions on uh, differential calculus. Uh, today we will learn uh, what is known as Weddell equation. Uh, <clears throat> let me share my screen so that you can see the contents. Yeah. So uh, I want to. Uh, motivate this pedal equation with a standard example of uh, circle. We know this very well, so I am trying to go slow so that you understand this and then we will do the same thing for a general curve. What it means? So let us take a unit circle. Let us take the unit circle centered at origin. Uh, this means circle. I'll show the diagram in one minute. Uh, circle whose center is origin and radius is one. And we know that the equation of this in Cartesian coordinates is x square plus y square equal to 1. I have written z square, I don't know why, this should be 1. So x square plus y square equal to 1 square or 1. Uh, so equation of the same curve in polar coordinates is r equal to 1. This also we have seen. Whatever be the theta, uh, coefficient of uh, the radius is one fixed number. So this will give me polar chord uh, equation of unit circle in polar coordinates. This is the polar form of the curve. And uh, we know from our high school that tangent to circle at any point is perpendicular to the radius at that point. Remember, I have a circle, unit circle, it doesn't have a unit circle for anything, it is true, but I am taking a unit circle centered at origin. Pick up any point on the circle, draw a tangent to it. Now, you draw radius passing through that point of intersection, means point where uh, tangent, uh, where you drew the tangent. This radius and tangent are perpendicular to each other, which means perpendicular distance from origin to the tangent is same as r. Distance of tangent from the center of circle is same as radius r. Now, what we want to do is, I want to call this perpendicular distance from the origin to the tangent as p. This is a new variable. For circle, p is same as r. So this is the pedal equation of unit circle, not unit circle, um, of the circle whose radius is r. Let me show you a GeoGebra uh, illustration of whatever I'm saying. You see here, I want to draw a circle uh, passing through some point, doesn't matter, centered at origin and passing through some point. To start with, I can take unit circle, no problem. So now pick up any point on the circle. So how do I do that? So here it is. I picked up some point on the circle. Now I want to draw a tangent to this point, to the circle at this point. So there it is. This is the tangent. What I want to tell is I want to, okay, before that, I want to draw the radius vector. That is okay. Let me draw it as a diameter. It's not a vector right now. Just the radius of this. Radius where at the point of tangency. As I move the point of tangency, that means as I move this point, of course, radius will also change. Change means the length will not change, but the polar coordinates of C are changing. So, radius itself, its angle will change. As I move point C, you can see radius is, radius magnitude is same, but radius vector is changing. Uh, what we know from high school is this radius vector and this tangent are perpendicular to each other. This means tangent is at a distance, in this case R from the center, from the origin tangent is at a distance p. That's a p is the new variable I want to call. I want to say distance from origin to the tangent, I'll call it p. 
in this unit circle case or any circle case p is same as r so this is the most trivial case of uh, pedal equation so that's what i told you here so you take uh, any circle this is not z square i'm sorry this is just one uh, or you can take r square it doesn't matter Doesn't matter. You take any r. In, in particular, if it is r equal to one, this is unit circle. So, in general, pedal equation of circle is r equal to p. That means now you see it's a relation between the perpendicular distance of the tangent from the origin and the radius. That relation is fairly obvious in circle case. It is r equal to p. We want to do this for a general curve. What does that mean? So let us check this, what it means. You, I want to extend this idea for other curves. So let R equal to F theta be a polar curve. That means now nothing to do with circle, it can be any curve. I'll show the GeoGebra implementation in one minute. First, let me run through the slide. <coughs> So let r equal to f theta be some polar curve. That means I have a curve and its equation is r equal to f theta. And I'll choose an arbitrary point p on this curve. So that point I'm calling p r theta. And I'll draw a tangent to the curve at p. And I will denote p to be the distance between o, that's the initial point, and the tangent. Now I'll show you in GeoGebra that R P could change as I change R. That means as I change uh, the capital P, the small P will change as I change capital P. So R is changing. So the relation between R and P is called the pedal equation. We have seen the simplest relation in case of circle when P is equal to R. Check out a GeoGebra implementation of this that hopefully will make things better. So in this, so I start with my geometry paper, blank paper. I'll pick somebody as initial point and then I'll pick somebody as my initial line, that's the ray. And then I will pick up some arbitrary curve. This is the curve. Don't bother about the form of that curve. This is some curve, polar curve. R is equal to F of theta. And then I'll pick up an arbitrary point on this. Then this is my R for that P. Means as I change P, you can see R is changing. And this is my theta here. This is my theta. So as I change my P, you can see P is moving on the curve. So the relation between R and theta is given to be R equal to F theta. So P and R are changing. Uh, sorry, uh, R and theta are changing here. In this case, I, wh what I said is I want to draw a tangent to the curve at that point. Here is the tangent. So tangent to the curve at that point and uh, what I want is, I want distance of this tangent from the origin. Please see the figure carefully. As I change P, means P is moving on the curve, the tangent is changing. Tangent is changing, distance of tangent from the origin is also changing. Recall, what do you mean by distance of tangent from the origin? Just means length of the perpendicular from the origin to this tangent. Distance between a point and a line, straight line is the perpendicular distance between that point and that straight line. So that's the definition. So here I want the perpendicular distance. That means I want to drop a perpendicular from O to my tang uh, tangent. And this is the perpendicular I have drawn here. This is perpendicular. This angle is 90 degrees. So this length, I will call it P. Now, what is pedal equation is the relation between R and P. You see, as I move this point, R is changing and P is also changing. How the 
R and T change with respect to each other. That means, is there a relation between R and T? Is it easy to find? These are the kind of questions we are going to answer. So remember, this is a right angle triangle, which is a right angle triangle. OPM is a right angle triangle in which R is the hypotenuse. That means this is 90 degrees. That's how I have drawn the distance from tangent to the origin means this is line perpendicular to tangent. So <clears throat> in the right angle triangle OPM, where M is the right angle, R is the hypotenuse and P is one side. And you recall, remember what we had told. The angle between the tangent and the radius is phi. So it is same as angle between O and this angle, OPM. This angle is same as this angle, vertically opposite angles. So this is phi. This is phi. Remember, we, do, we know how to compute phi. Uh, we know tan phi is r d theta by dr or something like that. So we know how to compute this. Now I want relation between r and p. How to get that? I will try to show you in this picture itself. It's easy to show. You see, if this is phi, tell me what is sine phi. Sine phi is opposite phi, opposite side divided by hypotenuse. So sine phi, phi is in this picture, phi is shown here. This is the vertically opposite angle. This is also phi sine and this is a right angle triangle. OPM is a right angle triangle and o angle OPM is phi. So sine phi is opposite side, which is OM divided by hypotenuse, which is OP. So, but opposite side, I call it that length is P and hypotenuse length is R. So P by R is sine phi, which means um, P is equal to R sine phi. That's the relation between R and P, which involves phi. But phi I already know in terms of tan, means tan phi I know. So now I have to push the tan phi also into this. That means I have to write sine phi in terms of tan phi. How to do that? I will take one minute and explain that. So that means if I know sine, no, if I know tan, can I find sine? How do I do that? We know from your high school geometry, you know, you draw a right angle triangle explicitly with phi as one of the angles. If I know tan of this, that means I know opposite side by adjacent side. <coughs> How to find opposite side by hypotenuse? What does I know? Pythagoras theorem says this square plus this square is this square. O P o M square plus P M square is equal to O P square. That means P square, if I call P M as say some number, L. P square plus L square is equal to R square. So R, uh, so this uh, so what do I know here? I know tan. So I know tan means I know P by this. Now I want to write uh, the pedal equation was P equal to R sine phi, correct? Because this I wanted relation between P and R in terms of phi. So this P I know in terms of R and phi. Now I want to get rid of that uh, phi also because phi I know in terms of R and theta. So I want to put that phi, I replace phi, but I, can't, I don't have phi directly. What I have is tan phi. I, what I have is sine phi. Instead of sine phi, I want to write tan phi. How do I write? How do I change? How do I express sine phi in terms of tan phi? That's what I'm trying to explain. That means if I know sine of an angle, how do I find tan of an angle? That you know from your high school days. That you know from your high school days. So which means sin phi is opposite side by hypotenuse tan phi is opposite side by adjacent side so you basically find this this is basically r square minus p square this length so use this to write the pedal equation maybe one example will help you understand it better so pedal equation is basically relation between p and r i hope this part is clear i start with the curve pick up an arbitrary point on that curve, draw a tangent to that curve at that point, and then you uh, find the distance from origin to that tangent, that I'll call it P, 
and relation between R and T is called the pedal equation. So GeoGebra recap I have given. So this is what the, from the GeoGebra recap also you could see sin phi is P by R, which means P is equal to R sin phi. Remember this. Phi is this angle OPM, sin phi is P by R, opposite side by hypotenuse. So sin phi is P by R, which means P is equal to R sin phi. Now, this is what I told you. Somehow I want to relate this to tan phi, which is R d theta by dr. So this is, I now do a algebraic manipulation, which is what is relevant for you from examination point of view. Uh, I know tan phi, so I know cot phi. Cot phi is one by R dr by d theta. And uh, I was, basically I want to relate this tan and sine. That's what I'm trying to do. So 1 by p square, p is r sine phi. So 1 by p square is 1 by r square sine square phi. Sine square phi, 1 by sine square phi is same as cosecant square phi, cosecant square phi. No, is 1 plus cot square phi. So 1 by p square is 1 plus cot square phi by r square. Cot square phi, I just told you here, is 1 by tan square phi, which is cot phi is same as 1 by r dr by d theta by taking reciprocal of this. So I'll substitute this for cot phi. I get a horrible looking expression, uh, which is 1 by r square dr by d theta whole square. You expand the uh, bracket, you throw out the outer bracket. So you'll get 1 by r square plus 1 by r power 4 dr by d theta whole square, which is 1 by p square. This is also known as pedal equation. If you have energy to remember this, you can remember this, but it's not going to be of much of a help. It's better every time to remember this this is the pedal equation p equal to r sine phi and you know tan phi you do this process every time that way you will learn something so but many times this is this also passes off as pedal equation so we either uh, so again let me uh, recapitulate uh, let me recall uh, p is equal to r sine phi and i want to relate this with tan phi equal to r d theta by dr which implies cot phi is this. So 1 by p square is 1 by r square sine square phi, which is cosecant square by r square, which I'll use this identity. Cosecant square is same as 1 plus cot square, but cot square is this. So from here, I'll substitute this. I'll get this expression. So this is the pedal equation of the curve. So <clears throat> let us quickly see an example, and then I'll probably stop for today. So let's take this curve. Now I will not use too much of GeoGebra. Let me show you algebraic manipulation. You have spent enough time on GeoGebra trying to look for which is uh, phi, which is alpha, which is theta and things like that. So for this curve, R equal to A cos A into one plus cos theta, prove that P is R cos theta by two. We have seen this curve before. So now I'm not going to tell you how this curve looks. GeoGebra implementation we have seen. So what do I do? Basically, you want to get a tan phi. So only way is to differentiate with respect to r. To differentiate with respect, the given curve with respect to r, you get this side you'll get one, and this side you'll get minus a sine theta d, d theta by dr. Usual rules. I will not waste my time on this. So derivative of a into one plus cos theta with respect to r is minus a sine theta d theta, d theta by dr which means d theta by dr is minus 1 by a sin theta. But I know tan phi is r d theta by dr, which means r, tan phi is r into minus 1 by a sin theta. r is nothing but 1 plus a into 1 plus cos theta. So I substitute this. All these kind of things we have done before. So tan phi, I can write it as 1 plus cos theta divided by sin theta with a negative sign. But 1 plus cos theta is same as cos square theta by 2. The same, very same problem we have done before. So from which you see tan phi is same as tan of pi by two plus theta, which means phi is pi by two plus theta by two. From this, I want to compute, uh, here I don't need to do much because I know phi explicitly, pi by two plus theta by two. Pedal equation is P equal to R sine phi. So I'll write P is equal to R sine phi is pi by two plus theta by two. Sine of pi by two plus theta by two is cos theta by two. So I get r cos theta by 2. So p, that is the perpendicular distance from the origin to the tangent is r cos, r cos theta by 2. Um, this is what we wanted to prove here, remember. 
for this curve, I wanted to show P is equal to R cos theta by 2. And here I have shown that. I'll uh, stop here. We'll see some more examples like this. Just get familiar with relation between sine and uh, tan. That is what we will need to understand better if you want to solve more problems. And rest is like what we have done in our previous lecture. You differentiate the given curve with respect to R, find out tan phi, and from that, find out sine phi and use P equal to R sine phi. This is the standard thing for this part of the uh, course. I'll stop here now. Mm, we'll again continue some other time.